Being able to roll swap pick order is a really neat mechanic. It's probably one of the few things Riot has gotten right these past few years. That being said, what's the solution to not getting counterpicked if your allies refuse to swap with you? Hey what's going on summoners, my name is Crumbs and we're going to be taking a look at 10 of the best blind pick champions. You won't always get the chance at counterpicking and with some matchups you want to avoid picking first at all costs. Well, with these champions, you'll be able to safely navigate nearly every matchup while still providing amazing amounts of utility to your team. We'll be giving you a breakdown of what makes them great blind picks alongside standard builds in case you want to try them out after the video. Let's not waste any more time and dive right in. Starting us off strong, we've got one of the few true tanks in the game, Orn. This hyperscaling meat shield provides his team with a ton of utility while also being nearly unkillable. Orn can navigate even the most difficult of matchups with versatile runes and by sacking waves. With his ability to craft items in lane, he can slowly gain an item advantage over his enemy and will slowly win by throwing his new armor at them. Plus, since he doesn't need much gold to be efficient, he can afford to sit back and soak XP if the enemy freezes on him. Overall, Orn is a perfect blind pick as even his worst matchups offer some degree of counterplay. Diving into his build, you're going to be taking Flash and Teleport as your summoner spells. This will help you stay even in lane or, if you're in a winning matchup, you can use this to pressure the map. For your runes, you'll be taking Grasp, Demolish, Second Wind, Overgrowth, Magical Footwear and Biscuit Delivery. These runes will give you decent laning strength, but best of all, they'll help you scale for free while also staying healthy. At the end of the day, it's all about getting enough levels to upgrade you and your team's items. Finally, we've got your items. You'll be building Jack Show, Plated Steel Cap, Sunfire Ages, Thorn Mill, Force of Nature, and finish off with either Gargoyles for additional defenses or Warmogs for bonus HP. Next up on our list, we've got Shen. This team oriented bruiser looks to protect his allies with his global ultimate. Shen's early game damage and safety makes him an extremely good blind pick. In good matchups, he's able to dominate and get extremely fed, which allows him to spread his lead out to his team. On the other hand, if he's in a poor matchup, he can easily play safe and look to make game-changing plays across the map. With the changes to teleport one year ago, Shen's ability to roam around the map with his ultimate and then TP back to lane is a very powerful mechanic. Overall, if you want a bit more laning and global presence than Orn, then Shen is a great pick for you. Taking a look at his build, you're going to be taking Flash and either Ignite or Teleport as your summoner spells. Ignite is great in winning matchups as it lets you really abuse Shen's high early damage and get some kills. If you're in a losing matchup, Teleport is a great tool at letting you ult around the map without falling behind in XP. As for your runes, you'll be taking Grasp, Shield Bash, Second Wind, Revitalize, Cheap Shot, and Ultimate Hunter. These runes synergize really well with Shen's kit by giving him great trading power as well as late game scaling with his ultimate cooldown. For your items, you'll be building either Heartsteel if you can easily stack it or Iceborne if you can't. We personally do not recommend Heartsteel but it's popular so be sure to test both. The rest of your build will consist of Plated Steel Cap, Sunfire Aegis, Thorn Mail, Force of Nature and finish off with Redemption for Team Sustain, Chains for additional CC or Gargoyles for bonus defenses. Before we continue on, we want to remind you all to check us out at ProGuides.com. With our new $7.99 monthly subscription, you can take your gameplay to the next level with some brand new course and bootcamp content. If courses and lessons aren't your thing, don't worry, we have challenger level coaches that are available 24-7 ready to help you out. As a member, you'll even get a 10% coaching discount. So what are you waiting for? Go check us out and join the ProGuides family. Nonetheless, let's not waste any more time and dive back into the video. Pulling us back in, we've got none other than Nunu and his pal Willem, or as Riot likes to call him, William. This snowball wielding duo works great at power ganking around the map and getting their team ahead. Featuring fast clear speeds, great objective control, and some of the most annoying yet effective ganking tools in the game, Nunu can take on anyone. If they have to face an invading jungler, they play on the opposite side of the map and camp their ally. If they're versus a hyper farming jungler, they easily outpressure them by ganking a ton early on. Overall, Nunu is a great option if you need a safe and reliable jungle pick. For your summoner spells, you'll be taking Flash and Smite. Your Smite of choice will be Moss Stomper Seedling. As for your runes, you'll be taking Face Rush, Nimbus Cloak, Celerity, Water Walking, Triumph, and Legend Tenacity. This will help you easily stick to your targets. Finally, your items will consist of Sunfire Ages, Defensive Boots of Choice, Jack Show, Thorn Mail, Force of Nature, and finish off with either Demonic Embrace or Gargoyles. Up next in the jungle, we've got Maokai. 
While he's likely not going to stay for too long, he is still an absolute menace that can be blinded like it's no one's business. After the jungle rework and a few Maokai buffs, he has easily become one of the best yet most boring junglers in the game. Maokai's strategy consists of power farming with the occasional gank on the side. Once he reaches two items, he becomes a team fighting powerhouse that can feel impossible to kill. If he's ever in a bad matchup, he can usually just farm enough to outscale the enemy with ease, effectively making the counter useless. Taking a look at his build, you'll be taking Flash and Scorch Claw Pop Smite as your summoner spells. For your runes, you'll be taking Phase Rush, Nimbus Cloak, Transcendence, Water Walking, Cheap Shot, and Treasure Hunter. This will give you great sticking and ganking power. As for your items, you'll be building Demonic Embrace, Lucidity Boots, Leandries, Shadow Flame, Morello Nomicon, and Zonyas. Taking us into the mid lane, we've got none other than Ari. Fighting for a close spot with Syndra, Ari has become a great blind pick ever since her mini rework and update. She's able to navigate even the most difficult of matchups with ease thanks to her sustain, mobility, and burst. While her effectiveness varies from game to game, she can still usually one-shot the enemy carry with ease. Diving into her build, you'll be taking Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. You can also opt for Teleport if you're afraid you'll fall behind, but we wouldn't recommend it. As for your runes, you'll be taking Electrocute, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Ultimate Hunter, Minion Dematerializer, and Cosmic Insight. These runes will give you nice burst damage, wave clear, and scaling. Finally, your items will consist of Ludin's Tempest, Sork Shoes, Shadow Flame, Rabadons, Void Staff, and finish off with either Zanyas or a Banshees. Moving on to our next mid laner, we've got Seraphine. Since her release, Seraphine has been known to be one of the best and safest laners in the game. Both bot and mid players alike find it difficult to punish her thanks to her incredible range and wave clear potential. Plus, if she ever falls a bit behind, her ultimate and overall utility for her team more than make up for it. Okay, now let's take a look at her build. For your summoner spells, you'll be taking Flash and either Exhaust or Teleport depending on if you need the extra safety or not. As for your runes, be sure to take Summon Airy, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Gathering Storm, Font of Life, and Revitalize. Seraphine's secondary tree is pretty flexible, so feel free to swap it out as needed. Finally, be sure to build the Andres, Lucidity Boots, Seraph's Embrace, Rhylice, Rabadons, and finish off with either Zanyas or Chemtech Putrefire. Feel free to grab either one of these earlier if you need to. Now before we move on to our final few champions of the video, let's not forget about our favorite Pro Guides tradition. Today we want to ask you all, who is your personal pocket pick? Regardless of what your answer may be, make sure to let us know in the comment section down below. Nonetheless, let's dive back into the video. Starting off our blind pick AD carries, we've got Ezreal. This caster marksman has always been known for his great safety due to his range. While even Ezreal has a few matchups that can feel hard to manage, he can usually play safe enough to neutralize them. Compared to most AD carries out there, he's definitely one of the most reliable blind picks for the role. Before we dive into his build, we gotta clarify a few things. If you watched our short about Ezreal, you'd know that he currently has a high win rate crit build that is being played in high challenger games. That being said, this build can be difficult to play at times due to how auto attack reliant it is compared to normal Ezreal. We will not be covering that build in this video, but keep in mind it is still just as good, maybe even better. For your summoner spells, you're going to be taking Flash and your choice of either Heal or Exhaust. For your runes, be sure to take PTA, Presence of Mind, Legend Bloodline, Coup de Gras, Magical Footwear, and Biscuit Delivery. These runes will give you laning presence and a bit of sustain. Taking a look at your items, you're going to be building Trinity Force, Lucidity Boots, Mira Mana, Cerildius Grudge, Ravenous Hydra, and Frozen Heart. Be sure to pick up your tier early on so you can stack it ASAP. Moving on to our next AD carry pick, we've got Caitlyn. While she may not be as blindable as Ezreal, her long range and wave clear help her play into nearly every matchup. Caitlyn uses this to stay safe and pressure the enemy as much as possible. Plus, in winning matchups, she can destroy turrets as she permanently shoves the enemy in. Taking a look at her build, you're going to be running Flash and either Heal or Ghost as your summoner spells. For your runes, you'll be taking Fleet Footwork, Presence of Mind, Legend Bloodline, Coup de Gras, Absolute Focus, and Gathering Storm. This will help you take great trades and scale. Finally, for your runes, you're going to be grabbing Gale Force, Berserker's Greaves, pick up a BF Sword, get Rapid Fire Cannon, turn the BF Sword into IE, then finish with LDR and Guardian Angel. This will help you get a steady power curve throughout the entire game. Pulling us into the support role, we've got Heimerdinger. At the moment, Heimer is so strong that nothing really beats him, which makes him the perfect blind pick. His great poke, wave pressure, and anti-dive kit makes him nearly impossible to deal with. Even the strongest of poke mages do not stand a chance against him. 
If you're looking to pick up and learn a new support, he's definitely the one that should be on your list. Taking a look at his build, you're going to be running Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. For your runes, be sure to take Arcane Comet, Transcendence, Absolute Focus, Scorch, Magical Footwear and Biscuit Delivery. These runes will let you stay healthy and play extremely aggressively during the laning phase. Finally, your items will consist of Rylai, Sork Shoes, Leandris, Zonyas, and Demonic Embrace. Don't forget to pick up your Spell Thieves so you can get your wards ASAP. Last but certainly not least, we've got Rakan. This charming Vestayan is a great combination between an engaged champion and an enchanter. He provides his team with great mobility, utility, and crowd control. While he does get shut down pretty hard by picks like Thresh or Leona, his kit is more than versatile enough to adapt to the enemy's playstyle. He can play to peel, to engage, to disengage, or do a combination of all three. Overall, he's just a versatile champion that can truly adapt to any situation. Taking a look at Rakan's build, you're going to be running Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. In very rare cases, you can justify taking Exhaust for your carry, but we wouldn't recommend it. For your runes, you'll be taking Guardian, Font of Life, Bone Plating, Unflinching, Zombie Ward, and Ultimate Hunter. These runes will give you and your allies additional protection. Finally, for your items, be sure to build Shirelius, Lucidity Roots, Chemtech Putrefy, Zeke's Convergence, and Watchful Wardstone. Be sure to pick up your Relic Shield at the start of the game so you can start warding as soon as possible. And that sums up our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to join our Pro Guides family over at ProGuides.com where we offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you just won't catch anywhere else. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, good luck on the Rift and may the LP God smile down upon you.